Hey everybody, it's Jim from Cigar, Cigar, Cigars. You know, most of the cigars we smoke are pretty much cylinder shaped, but cigar makers are very imaginative and they've come up with some pretty outrageous cigars. So I'm calling this video Jim's Cigar Freak Show and we're going to look at some pretty unusual cigars. Some of the freakish cigars have actually worked themselves into the mainstream, and you might be familiar with some of these. The La Flor Dominicana chisel is pretty mainstream, but it has a very unusual head on it. It has a chisel or wedge-shaped head, which is actually patented, which is why you only see it on their cigars. Another one that was unusual for its time, but really has kind of worked itself very much into the mainstream in terms of size and shape, is the Andalusian Bull. That's also made by LFD. It's a pyramid-shaped cigar, and they use kind of an unusual pyramid press on it, but it's six and a half by 64 gauge, which in today's world is, is big, but not freakishly big. Other one is the Placencia Cito Hexagon, and that's unusual because it is actually box-pressed into a hexagon shape. It's six inches by 60 gauge, but it's really the hexagon shape that makes it unique. Arturo Fuente, of course, has a Hemingway line, which are very unique cigars in today's world. But they also make one for, they also make a very similar shaped cigar for Ashton in the VSG line. It's called the VSG Enchantment. But now let's look at some really unusual ones. First, let's look at the Lariton Egg, which is made by Drew Estate. And there's two different tobacco types on this, a, a milder one and a Maduro one. But they have this very unique egg shape which at its biggest part is 60 gauge. So it goes from 60 gauge at the big fat part down to very small. I got to be honest, I've seen reviews on this. I've never had one, but I've seen reviews on this that say it, it, the burn is challenging because of that odd shape. Here's two really interesting ones. The company is called Don Manny, and I had never heard of this company, but they have two shapes. One is shaped like a bottle, and the other is shaped like a pipe with pipe tobacco in it. Those are very unusual and a little bit hard to find. Another freak of shape is the Calibra, which is actually anywhere from two to four cigars braided together. And I have one here. I, I smoked my first one of these about a week ago, took apart the, the braids as you're supposed to do and smoked them individually. And this is what one of them looks like. And I was surprised by, I actually took another cigar outside with me because I said, this thing's not going to last long. This is like 45 minute cigar. So it's about seven inches long or so and about 35 gauge, but it lasted a long time and it was actually pretty good. Now let's look at the Roma Craft La Campagna. That's shaped like, sort of like an elongated traffic cone, I guess is the best way to describe it. And also has some unique decoration features on the wrapper. Opus X even got into the game with Fuente making a football-shaped cigar with some football lace-type decorations on it. And that's a limited release. I don't know if that one is still available. So those last two we looked at actually had some interesting patterns. And it, that's another thing cigar makers do to get creative, is they, they put a lot of interesting patterns on, on their cigars. Be it as simple as a barber pole design, which we see quite a bit of. And a good example of that is the Filthy Hooligan, which uses... Candela and Maduro, where a lot of the barber poles use Connecticut and Maduro as far as the color of the wrapper. So you can see there's no limit on the creativity in terms of shape and decorations on cigars. Now let's talk about size though, because that's really interesting. It wasn't that long ago, I believe it was like 2008 or something like that, when E.P. Carrillo came out with the inch. And why it was called the inch is it was over 60 gauge. I'm not sure it was 64 gauge. 64 gauge, by the way, is an inch. Uh, one gauge is 1 64th of an inch. So it was close to 64 gauge, so they called it the inch, and six inches long. That's very unusual at that time. It kind of kicked off an arms race among cigar makers to come out with big cigars. And as we know now, 6 by 60 is a very common size. So let's look at some bigger ones. There are actually a few 7 by 70 cigars out now, uh, a couple of them that are noteworthy, our CAO has a flathead. When CAO came out with the flathead, it was a six, they called it the 660, so it's 60 gauge and six inches long. And after that, they came out with the 770, which is seven inches long and 70 gauge. 
Another one I've seen in my local store is the Alec Bradley Texas Lancero, which is also 7x70, has a pigtail cap on it, which is kind of interesting. Before we go too deep into our size freak show, I want to show you a couple sizes that are pretty interesting. Here's a golfer who has gone to great lengths to have a very long cigar. And this is an actual cigar that was made for a trade show, and the size on this is 1,920 gauge. It is 19 feet long, so about six meters long, and weighs about 1,600 pounds. And it was actually made of real tobacco and theoretically could be smoked, I guess, if you were 50 feet tall. If there's an industry leader in making giant cigars, it would be Asylum and JRF, which I believe are Anganorsa. They came out with an 8x80 cigar a few years ago. And then to top that, the next year they came out with a 9x90. And more recently, they've actually come out with a 10 inch by 100 gauge cigar. So if you were really interested in those, you can probably look online and find those. By the way, I have a list of all the cigars I talked about in this video in the description if you want to refer to that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed looking up all the shapes and sizes and colors of cigars. So I will see you next time from Cigars, Cigars, Cigars.